As a band, Sleep Token is an absolute enigma. Despite being one of the least accessible bands with their gimmick and experimental sound, they have managed to catapult themselves into mainstream success. They have gained millions of monthly listeners practically overnight. They even sold out their first ever US headline tour in minutes. But what makes them so extraordinary? What's going on everybody? Welcome to the No Skip Show. I'm your host, Travis Platt, and today we're here to give you a beginner's guide to Sleep Token. Whether you're a new fan that discovered them on TikTok recently, or you've been a fan for years, we could always use a refresher to go from a casual fan to a super fan. This is a brand new series called A Beginner's Guide, where we discuss all of the information you need to know about your favorite bands. Go ahead and comment below what bands you would like to see us do a beginner's guide to. Also, make sure to subscribe, give this video a like, and comment below, as well as click that notification bell to keep the record spinning. And make sure to check out all my socials down below in the description. Without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Sleep Token are a band, if you will, hailing from London, England. Having many influences and sounds in their arsenal, they combine genres anywhere from progressive metal to arena rock to pop, even to the newly coined baby-making music. Or are you really into all? Which creates a unique blend of sounds. It's like if you're sitting down with Vessel at Thanksgiving and you asked him what kind of music you make, he would just stare at you blankly through the mask. On top of having such a unique sound, the band also showcased a deep lore and rich story about them, headed by Vessel, the vocalist and creator of the project, each member follows in their footsteps, staying entirely anonymous, donning a mask for any social gatherings like music videos or live performances. The music created and performed live is all in service to their ancient deity, known as Sleep. In the only interview ever done by Sleep Token, Vessel simply says, We are here to serve Sleep and project his message. Vessel is best known for his deep, angelic voice as the lead vocalist of the band, but he's also the mastermind behind the visuals, sound, and lore of the band. Being asked further about Sleep, Vessel states, He is everywhere at all times. Vessel encountered him in a dream, with promise of glory and magnificence if Vessel followed. He's not the only one that followed in worship of Sleep. Throughout the years, other members have been added to the group, simply known as 2, 3, and 4. Since their introductions, they have slowly taken up more prominent roles within the band. With all this hype regarding an anonymous band, you'd think they'd get lost amongst other prominent anonymous groups like Ghost. Who rose to fame in the mid-2010s. But rather than following the traditional route like their elders, Vessel and crew threw all genre standards out the window with the release of their first two EPs, titled 1 and 2, released in 2016 and 2017 respectively. Melting sky words, all Experimenting with genres such as ambient post-rock, progressive metal and pop, they've garnered influences anywhere from Leperous, Agent Fresco, Bon Iver, and Meshuggah. These releases had minor buzz, but for the most part went unnoticed outside of the UK. However, it wasn't until the release of their single Jaws where they had their first breakthrough song. The track featured a stronger hook and pop-style melody with heavy anthemic guitars in certain places. This was the single that put the band on the map for me. But it wasn't until their 2019 debut record, Sundowning, that they finally blew me away. The album starts off with the wonderful intro track, The Night Does Not Belong to God, which to this day is still my favorite Sleep Token song. This astonishing record also includes many amazing genre-bending songs like Sugar, Dark Signs, and Gods. Yeah, 
with a healthy serving of beautifully vulnerable stripped ballads like Bloodsport and Levitate. Somewhere the atom stopped fusing, I'm still your favorite regret. This album has had praises from both fans and critics on its unique versatility, making many excited for what's next in the band's portfolio. Say hello and thank you to This Place Will Become Your Tomb, their sophomore album released in 2021. With this bombshell comes thunderous singles such as Alkaline, and the stunningly beautiful The Love You Want. Personally, this album doesn't hold up to the debut for me personally, but that does not discredit the album's success. This album peaked at number 39 on the UK albums charts, and the band has become a strong force in the UK, but yet still to reach the mainstream in the US with just a small dedicated following. That is, until 2023. January 2023 marked the beginning of Sleep Token's third album cycle with the release of singles Chokehold on January 5th, which showed a more polished rock sound with a strong, infectious groove. The very next day, we got The Summoning, quickly rising to their biggest song ever, thanks to it going viral on TikTok and getting airtime on Sirius XM Octane Radio. Finally, their American dream began, quickly jumping from around 200,000 monthly listeners to over 2 million in just the span of a week. The summoning gained even more attention with reaction videos for the closing minutes of the song, a seductive, jazz-inspired section that has been on everyone's minds and special bedroom playlist. Since the first two singles, the band have been on a roll, with singles like Granite, Aquaregia, and my personal favorite, Boar. which takes inspiration from bands such as Deftones and former tour mates, Loathe. The band then released their third studio album, Take Me Back to Eden, on May 19th through Spine Farm Records and disrespects the genre rules even more with elements of gent, progressive metal, pop, trap, and jazz all in the mix. If you'd like me to review the album in full, go ahead and drop a comment down below. Sleep Token are a force to be reckoned with, and only time will tell if their worship to sleep will bring them a lasting legacy full of recognition and success. But one thing is for certain, their religion is just starting to grip the masses and it won't let go anytime soon. What is your favorite Sleep Token song? Go ahead and comment that below, and also, what genre do you consider them? Really, there are no wrong answers there as they incorporate pretty much everything. So, thank you for keeping the record spinning. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching and happy listening. <laughs>